there's been hundreds of years of theorizing in astronomy, right, from Newton's time to now, as to how the universe works. But finally, we are getting data. And so we are working on various ways to do that. So, for example, we are working with ISRO to make sure that from ISRO facilities we can get astronomical data. You know, AstroSat is up for the last five years. It was made partly in Ayuka, partly in the Tata Institute in Mumbai, and partly in IAA Bangalore. And it's a huge world-leading telescope that's up there. And anything that's coming now, so one of the things that's built, being built in is ultraviolet camera for the sun, for the Aditya mission, which is going to go up next year. And Aditya will look at the sun 24 hours. It'll be in a place halfway between the Earth and the sun. And it's going to um, be the solar observatory uh, looking at uh, changes in the sun. That's ISRO's next big project after Chandrayaan. So after then, that comes Venus. Then comes another Mangalyaan. All that we are involved in. Not just that, there are these big projects that ISRO is opening up to study the universe. And so we, we probably will have something that studies the cosmic microwave background. There will be a mission that looks for exoworlds, other planets, to look for life on other planets. All that we are going to do. So they, we are gearing up for, for that kind of stuff. Then that's, that's the space-based stuff. On the ground, we are, um, as you know, India is 10% um, of the 30-meter telescope, which is going to be the biggest telescope in 10 years' time. will be built in Hawaii and Ayuka is one of three institutes in the country that are actually doing it. So that, in, in fact, the entire software for controlling the 30-meter telescope is being done here, actually done, done by companies in Pune, co coordinated from here. And, and this is a, a collaboration between China, Japan, America, uh, Canada, and us, India. Five countries are building it. Um, that's a 30 that's optical telescope. Go to SKA, they are leading it, the square kilometer array radio, but, but the, the in interface with the universities is us. So we are supporting them in that. And then, we are as you know, we are building the gravitational wave observatory, LIGO. So, you know, two years ago, the prize, Nobel Prize went to the discovery of gravitational waves. <clears throat> when that discovery was made, and it's a different kind of information from the universe, not electromagnetic waves, uh, and it opens up a completely new subject. And when that discovery was made, um, yeah, the, there were a thousand authors in the paper, and 40 of them were from India, 10 of them from Ayuka. And actually, Sanjeev Dhurandar, who's one of our senior professors, actually is responsible for the method that, the mathematical method that made it possible for them to discover these things. Then um, um, they went ahead and said, why doesn't India build the third uh, gravitational wave observatory? There are two in America, and so we're going to build them. Our government agreed. It's going to cost many thousands of crores, and it's going to be finally built somewhere in Maharashtra. And uh, that is going to generate I think 100 terabytes a day, something like that. That's a lot of data. But, um, and so Ayuka is, along with two other institutes, again, the major place. The entire computing and data structure of the observatory will be here. Um, the data analysis will be here. The lasers and uh, the vacuum, etc., will be built by other institutes. It will be put in um, Hingoli district of Maharashtra. And after it's built in 2026, Ayuka will run it. So there's too much happening in Ayuka right now. <laughs> so we are not just teaching astronomy, we are doing um, these big projects because this is also a new thing. India has gone into big science now. I mean, till 10, 15 years ago, India didn't do big science. India did very small scale institute based science. Now we are part of the world. And once it becomes part of the world, you need people. And you can't get people if you don't go to the universities. So people look around and say, who has people? And then say, you guys people. And so they come to us. So this is why we get involved in a lot of these things. Uh, and also, we've had a long history of, um, of dealing with data. A lot of the uh, pure sciences in India um, actually have quite a lot of modeling and theory behind it. But actually, dealing with data has not been the forte of most Indian scientists.